burning or given that both uh, end walls are visible. Yeah, it, just, uh, <clears throat> it doesn't show very well, but that's the other sign, right? That's a, they, right. Are, they are. Uh, uh, I, and I didn't get the, the other one, uh, illustration for the back uh, put up there, so. Um, there is a, so, so there, the, according to the graphics code, we wouldn't have needed any variances for the front and side wall based on frontage and uh, normal conditions. The roof sign triggers what's called it's a graphics action, which triggered the variance. And the variance in that case is only the fact that our building is not 40 feet tall. To have a roof sign, you have to do a graphics plan, and that is for big places like the hospital, the OSU, and uh, However, a, a little bit of an administrative snafu when the, the sign package was entered by the sign vendor, which they have to be, he cited the graphics code and, and the sections that he cited are as you have in front of you, 37, I, I'd like to read this in because it's germane, 337726B, 337726E, which you've cited, but zoning pointed out in city review uh, you, you have this letter. No. City staff recommended approval, but the zoning guy pointed out that we more correctly would have referenced the urban commercial overlay, which also addresses signage. So the 